When the road is long and the night is dark When the load is heavy on your heart When your head's in the clouds, keep it up high Cause if you're looking, you can find a silver line When it all comes down and you can't get When you just might drown in an empty cup When there's nothing left, give it one more try Because tomorrow's gonna bring a new sunrise No matter where you go Tor, my queen, my love, my life, and finally, my wife. We have talked, dreamed, planned, and looked forward to this day for so long. I'm so grateful that God brought us together. Today is our wedding day. At 21, I would have never thought that the cute, blonde hair, blue-eyed guy working at my apartment complex would become my best friend, my better half, and my husband. I've been praying for this moment from the very first time that we met. You are everything I've asked God for and more. Grateful that God answers our prayers in ways we can never imagine for ourselves. You are everything I prayed for. I've never met anyone who has as much love and grace in their heart. I didn't believe that I could find a man who would remind me every single day to dream a bigger dream, to work harder, to open my heart to possibilities of this beautiful life. I never realized I could love anyone as much as I love you. When times get hard, when things don't go our way, people disappoint when life throws a curve. I find my peace and my strength in you and in God, knowing that He put us together to take on anything this world can bring. You have shown me what it means to live and love, to give my heart fully, to wake up every morning with the hope of helping people. I love you for not only who you are, but who you inspire me to be. Tor, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. God brought you to me so I can serve you, I can love you, make you feel safe, and make sure that I do all I can to help you become the very best version of yourself. This day represents us and our love for each other. I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle, walking towards you, envisioning the life we continue to build together. Future memories playing in my head, seeing our future and all that it will be. Dancing the night away with you is what my dreams are made of. I promise to put you first. I promise to lift our relationship to God in the good and the bad. I promise that I will never stop working on myself in order to be better for you. I promise that when life and the world seem against us, I will stand tall, I will stand firm, and I will take on anything that comes our way. A promise for our future together is that I'll love you unconditionally. I promise to stand by your side without hesitation and always fight for our love. I promise to build a life together with you that is one that we're proud of. Through all the good times and the bad, I will be there right by your side. You're my strength, my weakness, my rock, and my shoulder to cry on. You're everything to me, but most importantly, you're the person that I gave my heart to. You are my forever and my always. I've loved you for five years, and today I become your wife and get the privilege of loving you for the rest of our lives. I promise to love all of you with all of me, always. I love you infinitely. Tor, let's get married. <laughs> I just wanna stay I'll give you the love that I know that you need it I'll treat you the way you deserve to be treated Can I say it loud? I will love you till the day that I die Cross my heart, give you my whole life This is it, despite all the feelings I'll be right beside you as long as I'm breathing Can I say it now? I will love you till the day that I die presence of God, family and friends, to unite Tyler and Tori in holy matrimony. Today they will receive God's greatest gift, another person to share with, grow with, change with, be joyful with, and to stand with as one when trials and tribulations enter their lives. 
Heavenly Father, we gather to celebrate your gift of love and its presence among us today. We rejoice that Tyler and Tori have chosen to commit themselves to a life of loving faithfulness to one another. May our participation in the celebration of love and commitment give us new joy and responsiveness to the relationships that we cherish. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Tyler and Tori, let me charge you both to remember that your future happiness is to be in mutual consideration, patience, kindness, confidence, and affection. It is the duty of each of you to find your greatest joy in the company of the other. To remember that your love pledge today must remain undivided for a lifetime. The vows you're about to take care not to be taken without careful thought. For in them you are committing yourselves exclusively to one another for as long as you wish to live. I, Tyler, take you, Tori, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live. This is my soul. I, Tori, take you, Tyler, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have it from the safe word, for the worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live. Tyler and Tori, having witnessed your vows for marriage before God and all who are assembled here, by the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Tyler and Tori, congratulations. Your separate journeys from Iowa to North Carolina to Georgia to Florida are finally over. Fate has brought you together. You both are sure to have a bright future with our Lord by your side. Continue to follow him. Today you start your journey and your lives together as one. Tori, we are so proud of you. We now welcome Tyler into our family and proud of the man he is for our daughter. You guys are about to embark on a journey and a lifetime adventure together. Cherish those times and make memories. May God continue to shower all his blessings on both of you now and forever. Yeah. Choose each other again and again. No matter what season, no matter what the year, choose each other. To struggle and succeed with, to fight and make up with, to love and grow old with, choose one another. Knowing there are still obstacles and journeys to discover and the mountains to climb, that you choose one another, be by your side. Congratulations, Tori and Tyler, and cheers now to the new Mr. and Mrs. Pierce. To know Tori is to love Tori. I met Tori when we became sisters in our sorority over four years ago. Instantly I knew I wanted this beautiful girl to be my friend. Tori knows just how to pick you up when you're feeling down, just the right words to say, to encourage and motivate you and warms every single room she walks into. Tori was the last person I hugged before leaving our college campus. I remember crying, giving her my last squeeze and knowing darn well it won't be our last because Tori is someone I never want to not have in my life. I could tell right away that Tyler was the one. It was the way that Tori looked at him and the way that he looked at her. It's the way that they encourage one another and really are each other's biggest cheerleaders. Their love is one which I have admired from the start, one that makes both of them better together. I stand here today so happy and honored to see our girl get married to her person. I pray for so much happiness for the both of you in your marriage, that you choose to love one another each day and always remember why. I met Tori at Iowa State seven years ago. Tori, you've always been there for me in my darkest and saddest times. Tyler, thank you for coming to Tori's life, being the man she always wanted and needed. It's insane how all our stories in this room have intertwined over the years and ways. We've all impacted each other and brought each other to this day. May God bless you both. Cheers, friend Tyler. Cheers. Tyler is like the little brother I always wanted. Perhaps for me, maybe the big brother he never knew we always had. That dynamic of our relationship is still true to this day friendship that spanned over 25 years. Of all the advice and direction I've given Tyler throughout the years, I'm most proud of suggesting he take a newly formed relationship very seriously based upon all I had heard about this beautiful young lady sitting next to him right here. Tori is genuine, she's kind, she's selfless, she's the catalyst behind Tyler's ambition to be a better man and the best version of himself, which is to this day one of the best men I know in my life. I love you both very much. 
and I wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Pierce. I've known Tyler for a very, very long time. I see where you started, and I've seen what you've gone through. I've seen successes and failures, the things that have turned you and led you to become the man that you are today and the husband that you are today. I can't wait to see the life that the two of you built together. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Pierce. We both owe a ton of thanks for not only making this day happen, but for also having all of you to get us through 27 plus years of life leading up to this. I felt I would regret if I let this opportunity go by without thanking my bride in front of those that matter most to us. What I really want to thank you for is being the answer to my prayers. See, when Tori and I met, I was at such a turning point in my life, some may call it rock bottom, I remember exactly what I was praying for during that time. I was repeatedly praying for direction and purpose. Rebecca 2 and 2 says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run who readeth it. And what that means nowadays is, You have not because you ask not. And I asked, and I asked, and I asked, and he gave it to me. I eventually realized that the prayers were right in front of me. You are my direction. You are my purpose. Thank you to God for giving me you. And I will spend the rest of my life thanking you and doing all that I can to help us find the answers that we all hope and pray for in this life. Let's go ahead and cheers to answered prayers and to Mr. and Mrs. Pierce. And I'm home.